What's up, world? I'm Will Zone, Chef KT. Today we'll be cooking salmon nuggets and fried pickles. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right, folks, first thing that we're going to get into is removing the skin from the salmon and slicing it into one and a half inch pieces. It's easier to remove the skin when you have the salmon sliced into smaller fillets. And I have another video on my channel where you can see an up close version of how to properly and easily remove the skin from the salmon. Once you have everything sliced up nice, we're going to move forward into making that sauce. Now we're going to take some mayo, a fiesta blend of spices, some hot and sweet minced pickles, some of that pickle juice, whisk it all together. And to make sure we have a saucy consistency and add a little bit more sweetness, we're going to add some fresh lime and whisk that bad boy together too. Yes, sir. Uh, Once you have all that blended together, we're gonna to move forward into seasoning our salmon bites. We're using Fox Catering Seafood Blend Spices, some Badia Seafood Seasoning, Roasted Garlic Seasoning, and a little bit of salt. All right, now toss it together like you mean it. Looks amazing. Let's get it. All right, we got some buttermilk and some eggs for our egg wash. We're going to add a little bit of that Badia seafood seasoning and blend it all together. Perfect. Now to avoid running through all my seasonings, I'm using Kentucky seasoned flour. And we're gonna elevate it just a little bit further. So I'm tossing in some more Badia seafood blend, some roasted garlic seasoning, and some more salt. I'm gonna toss my pickles into that flour first so that I can keep them separate from the salmon bites because they're not gonna need to cook as long. I'm gonna take the rest of that egg wash, put it over our salmon bites, toss it all together, and then toss it into that flour. Perfect. Make sure you have everything covered and toss it into a fryer at 365 degrees. Now you're going to put your pickles in around the time you see the fish start to float. When fish floats when it's done cooking. Once everything is fried to a beautiful golden brown, I'm going to take it out the fryer and go ahead and start plating it. I'm using a tahine seasoned lime wedge, some of that sauce that we made earlier, and some of my pandemic relief hot sauce. That's a honey habanero based hot sauce. You would have saw me put that together on the show Cook That Ish. Shout outs to Super Chef. Once you have that plated all sexy, it's ready to be served. Right before we serve, we're going to hit it with a little bit of Salt Bay action. Thank you for watching me craft one of my most popular menu items. Please take a minute to check me out on social media platforms. Chow Chow, M-O-W, stands for Meals on Wheels. Or during the week at Mayan Street Food, parked at Gravely Brewing Co. Peace and blessings, guys. Shout out Johnny Raw Media.